Hey guys, welcome back to another Z Code System video. This week, we're going to talk a little bit about the NHL 2019 20 season and give a little bit of a preview. We're back to the ice coming up in October, October 2nd, when the St. Louis Blues and the Washington Capitals would drop the puck to start off another great season in the NHL. So go over to our Z Code System blog and you can read our preview there. We're going to be talking about some of that information that I wrote in the most recent blog published today, September 18th. Uh, you can also find some other information that we're not going to talk about there and get all up to date and ready to wager on the NHL this season. Before we go on to our NHL preview, let me just attract your attention over to our top performing automated systems. As you can see here, we have our top performing automated systems, which you can go to if you become a member of Z Code System, and you can use these to help you make more money on your sports betting. And I'm just going to scroll down here, and you can take a look at a few of these top performing systems. And these are based on the systems power ranking formula that we use at Z Code System. So just remember the baseball playoffs are just around the corner, and teams are making a final push for those playoffs. So if you want to bet on baseball or if you want to bet on the UEFA Champions League or Premier League that is going on right now in Europe, you can do that. Just go over, check out our systems, use those and look at these fantastic profits over here and the return on investments that we have. And uh, you can get in on some of that money, money, money. So, guys, good luck with that. Go check that out. And we're just going to now move over to talk about our NHL preview for 2019-20. So we're going back to the ice October 2nd when the St. Louis Blues host the Washington Capitals. The Blues winning the Stanley Cup last year. Uh, coming out of nowhere uh, for most people, they won their first ever Stanley Cup. And uh, they sent the Gateway City into ecstasy with that win. But, you know, will the Blues Back, uh, win a back-to-back -back Stanley Cup. There hasn't been a back-to-back -back winner since the Pittsburgh Penguins did it in 2016-17. Uh, it's not too long ago, so perhaps the Blues could do it, but some other teams have um, had some really good off-seasons, and uh, sports books are looking at these other teams to do uh, even better than the Blues and to lift that Stanley Cup. So let's take a look at some of those teams with the best betting odds currently given out by sports books. And as you can see there, the Tampa Bay Lightning go in with the best odds at plus 750. And you can see that the Blues are there in the, uh, what is at the top seven uh, with plus 1800. They are along with the ambitious, uh, as I've heard many people call the Colorado Avalanche this season. So uh, very interesting odds going into this. The Vegas Golden Knights continue to uh, be a promising team and to build out there in the Sin City and uh, the Boston Bruins, who were the beaten Stanley Cup finalists or runners-up, uh, beaten by the Blues in seven games. They are plus 1,300, so uh, a lot of sports books putting their backing behind the Bruins. But the Blues, not too shabby on uh, that top seven uh, in odds. Um, you know, can they do it again? Not so sure they can do it. Um and we're going to take a look at a few uh, off-season moves coming up next. So um, these teams might be able to sneak in there and do very well, do well in the playoffs, and maybe, just maybe, lift that Stanley Cup. So big off-season free agent and trade moves. The biggest, uh, in my opinion, P.K. Subban going to the New Jersey Devils, uh, traded by the Predators. And I've heard a lot of people say that the Devils, with the off-season moves that they've made, I believe they've brought in something around 12 players in the offseason. Uh, they've gone from being a bottom of the Eastern Conference team to being a team that can not only contend for the playoffs, but contend for that Stanley Cup uh, and make those finals. Now, the Stanley Cup playoffs are such a uh, difficult thing to predict. Um, you have the marathon NHL season where players are getting beaten up every night in one of the most physical sports on earth. And then they go into a uh, another marathon, but a much quicker marathon, if you will, uh, in those Stanley Cup playoffs. So anything can happen, and uh, that's why we often see teams who uh, win the President's Trophy at the end of the NHL uh, NHL season unable to go on and lift the Stanley Cup. But PK Subban, defenseman, uh, has 
really changed the way that, that Devils team is going to look. And I think that Devils team is going to be very good uh, this season. Again, they finished second bottom in the Eastern Conference last year. And uh, they can obviously move on up and do better. JT, uh, JT Miller, sorry. JT Miller, that is, going to the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, he leaves the Tampa Bay Lightning. They just couldn't fit him in there, and he had a pretty sizable contract. So they shipped him up to Canada. And uh, Andre Burakovsky is gone, has gone to the Avalanche from the Capitals. And those are three moves that I've highlighted today uh, as big moves uh, in the offseason and could really – help those teams turn around their season. As I said earlier, the Avalanche I'm hearing are one of the most ambitious teams. And uh, you saw back uh, on our previous page, they are in the top seven of Stanley Cup futures odds to lift the trophy at the end of the season. Now I want to finish today with some betting strategies. And I've highlighted three, and we're going to talk a little bit about these. And these are betting strategies that you can use this season in your betting on the NHL. So the first one that I have written here is the road schedules and back-to-back -back nights. Now, as I said before, NHL is such a physical sport. You've got players and teams beating up on each other every night. And when you add in the fact that teams are going on road trips and they are going on long distance road trips from say Vancouver to Florida or from Toronto to Los Angeles. Those are, those are long trips that they're making. And if they're combining those with uh, games like multiple games on the road and physical games, then those bodies get beaten up, fatigue happens, and you can see those teams, those road teams losing games uh, in the NHL. And if you see back-to-back -back nights, teams playing back-to-back -back nights, those second nights, those teams are going to be so beaten up uh, from playing the night before. And that might be a game that you want to bet on the home team. So back-to-back -back nights can play a huge part in your betting strategy, especially if those are back-to-back -back road games that teams are playing. Now, let's move on to our second point today, and that is don't confuse fun facts for cold, hard stats. Now, you can watch ESPN or NBC Sports or whatever uh, sports news program that you prefer, and you can hear lots of crazy fun facts thrown out there, but they're also used in a way to, um, they're also used as a statistic. And you can see this a lot on the internet with a lot of different uh, tipsters giving you these fun facts, but they're also giving them to you in the way that you should believe them as cold hard stats to back up the reason why a team is going to win. So uh, for example, you might see that someone says the Toronto Maple Leafs have lost to uh, the Montreal Canadiens every Thursday night for the last five years when it has been snowing outside. So that is not necessarily a cold hard stat. That is a fun fact. And although it is intriguing and interesting, it's not going to give us the information we need to know that we should be betting for or against the Toronto Maple Leafs in that case. So. Check that out. Uh, don't get confused with those two things. Now, my last uh, point here today is betting on over 2.5 goals per game. And you might say, well, that's crazy. Why would I want to bet on 2.5 goals per game? And the reason for this is the NHL is a high-scoring league. And if you look back at the last uh, 20 years, since 1999, you will find that the average goals per game is over 2.5. And uh, I've got a little bit more information here on this next page. Uh, so as you can see, that no season has had fewer than 2.57 goals per game average. So that is incredibly high. And last season, we had 3.01 goals scored per game in the NHL. And that was the second highest figure since 1999. Now that highest figure previously came in the 0506 season with 3.08 goals uh, scored per game. Uh, so, guys, definitely we want to see betting on over 2.5 goals because the NHL is a high-scoring league. And as I said before, no season since 1999 has had a team or has seen fewer than 2.57 goals per game. And that 0304 season was that season that had that season, that uh, that goals per game low. So we're going to be betting on the over for our NHL games. So guys, good luck with your NHL betting coming up. As I said, the puck drops on October 2nd, Blues Capitals in St. Louis. So be ready to check that out. Be ready to bet on that and have a great NHL season upcoming 
And don't forget to go to Z Code System, check out all the blogs, check out the VIP picks, and sign up and get those strategies. We'll see you next time, guys. Have a good weekend.